Hello everyone and welcome to Vanquish. This time we are looking at it at 4K. So we're going to just start again from the uh, first mission and we're going to take a look at that in uh, 4K. We're running everything uh, pretty much maxed out. We're going to skip all the cutscenes and get to some combat. Uh, doesn't stick to 60 FPS. It's not a 60 FPS lock. We're running with unlimited frame rate here. So you can get up to about, yeah, maybe it's up into the 70s, into the 80s, but you can see here when there's a lot of effect of effects on the screen, and there are a lot of effects in this game, so we'll just take a look at the settings, there's a lot of sort of particle effects, it's really heavy on them. Uh, we've got an FXEA, that's all we need at 4K, we've got V-Sync off, motion blur off, I don't like it, everything is at... Uh, the maximum high is the maximum that it goes to. So ultra settings, we'll call it 2160p, and let's see how it stacks up. Most of the time, it's fine. You'll stay above 60 FPS, but some of the time you're going to be dipping into the 50s. It even dips into the 30s. We'll skip the cutscenes because I want to see gameplay, not cutscenes. The cutscenes are pre-rendered, so the frame rate is, I think it's just locked at 250 FPS in the cutscenes. I got those things. I think they, I think they were pre-order bonuses. I just got shot there and went into the AR mode. If you get low health, you get a chance to get away. It does put you into AR mode there. Uh, I want the laser cannon, I think. I think we'll go back. Cause, yeah, it's just another machine gun. Get the laser cannon, it's powered by your suit, the laser cannon. Slide under here, go kill some fools. Remember it's not bad at the moment, but yeah, when there's a lot of effects, you see it dips into the 50s. Blow stuff up, we're down to the, into the 40s here. A lot going on in the first part, it is quite a decent part, especially when you fight the uh, big giant mech boss. Um, that's quite a good test for it because the screen is full of projectiles. There's a lot of projectiles in this game. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, we'll let we'll leave you with the rest of the video now. So um, enjoy. Uh, we're running a GTX uh, 1070. If you're wondering, i5 6600K at 4.5 gigahertz. We've got 16 gig of DDR4 RAM. In case you wanted to know, you can see if you want to know what clock the uh, GPU is running, it tells you right next to the uh, GPU usage. I think it, it doesn't quite make it to 2000 megahertz. It is a hot day today, so when the temperature of the GPU gets up, it lowers the boost clock. I think we're at 1974 is the boost clock. Maybe uh, it is a very, very hot day today though, so yeah, temperature is creeping up. And it tends to lower the boost whenever the temperature creeps up, so... That's the reason for it. I don't think it makes a huge difference to the frame rate. You see there's a lot of stuff going on there. Uh, but we'll leave you with the rest of the video, so enjoy the rest of it. Landing Bay 3 is up ahead. We've got heavy fighting in the plaza. Bravo, move forward, but maintain cover. Roger that. Guess it's time for the real thing. Your suit is performing at nominal levels, Sam. Never had a girl say that to me before.
Reinforcements are closing in on your position. Are there any other ways to get up top? It looks like you're just going to have to fight through this one. The gate's open now. Good. Let's go. Cheers. The main gate is above you. You need to get up there and open it. Burns, I need some backup. Franklin! Transports approaching from the rear. Prepare to intercept enemy transports. gonna be fun.
transformation. Most likely to connect to its generator and fire its large radius laser. Objective complete. Well done. If you say so. No time for pissing in the wind. Let's go. Gladly. I've opened the main gate. Bravo. Advance through the gate. Keep it closed until reinforcements arrive. <laughs> 